Robocoder's AI is another one of those Devon type AI software engineers. It has its own terminal, its own code editor, it also does web browsing, and it can also host and deploy some backends for you. Now the beauty about this Robocoders AI, unlike the other ones I've shown, is that you don't actually need to set this up. You don't need to install anything. It runs completely in your browser. Now it comes with a few setbacks. I personally have some issues loading my chat history from before. But other than that, it's really fun to try out. So even if you're a noob, you can just chat to it and see what you can build. I'm going to try build a hacker terminal themed online chat room. That's it. And I found that Robocoders can actually take pretty complex, vague uh, prompts and execute on them pretty fast. Um, so yeah, here you go. It makes some subtasks and then continues. It seems to always search for documentation before starting, which is really cool. And it's similar to how an actual software engineer would do it. And you can see it actually it goes on certain websites and reads tutorials and documentations on how to build what we've asked it to build. So it looks like it might be using... So it looks like it might be using fast API, Uvicorn, and WebSockets. And you can see here, it's actually running these terminal commands, writing these Python files, installing, installing these pip dependencies all in the terminal live. And as it's going, you can see the files getting created in the code editor. And it's really nicely able to debug. So if, if something is not working, it's missing a Python module, it will just, and then it will understand that and pip install it in the next line. And there we go. In less than a couple of minutes, we have something working on localhost. It runs something in localhost and then it actually deploys it and gives you a public URL you can access the server, Blackbox AI that we can see. So now we have a WebSocket chat. Let's see if this is actually live. I'm going to open two windows here and we see that this is not working at the start and this is kind of expected a lot of the times the first thing doesn't work uh, we have no messages being sent but uh, let's see if that was I don't know how this will go with debugging I've had varying success with this I'd urge you to give it a few different tries if it doesn't work the first try um, I've got it to do some kind of complex stuff on stream I've had it download a YouTube file audio and send it to a grok whisper api to transcribe it and um the Whis the grok whisper api is something that only recently came out so it's something that it had to search the internet to understand how to use the docs oh it actually did look at the grok whisper api that's awesome look it actually like that's pretty sick and then it's got the grok api here for the transcription it actually this got so the transcription funny. Let's see if uh, this works even on this. Oh, looks like um, the public URL is trying to connect to the uh, local host URL. So yeah, if you were able to open this up and send it the error log, it should have been able to fix it, which you can get by right clicking and pressing inspect. Go to console or going uh, control shift J on Windows. And I think it's something like command option J on, on Mac. Yeah, this is one of the only free AI software engineers that I've seen that also has a terminal slash server uh, capability. You don't even need to sign up. It's like completely just free. You just go on the site. No sign up, no setup. Oh, it even recognizes when the agent got stuck in a loop because the agent encountered an error. I'm just going to say let's try to fix the host variable again. The debugging is um, the most annoying part of this. I mean, that's always been the case with software engineering. It's nothing new. We really need agents that can go on the hosted website and check the logs for any errors and send it back through to the LLM. Okay, it looks like it tried to change a port, but um, it's unable to change a port because of permissions. But um, I think you get the idea. I don't expect it to work flawlessly, but it's pretty nice that it's completely free and you can just have some fun with it.